Hello everyone. Today in dermatology lectures, we are going to discuss primary and secondary skin lesions. What is a skin lesion? A skin lesion is a broad term that refers to any abnormality on your skin. It can be a rash, mole, wart, cyst, blister, bump, discoloration, or other change that you may notice on the skin. There are two types of skin lesions, primary lesion and secondary lesion. Primary lesions are changes in color or texture that are generally present at birth or acquired over time, such as a birthmark or an age spot. Secondary lesions are progression of primary skin lesions. They are changes to the original lesion that result from a natural evolution of lesion or a person scratching or aggravating the lesion. First of all, we will discuss the primary lesions. These are macule, papule, patch, plaque, vesicle, pustule, bulla, veil, and nodule. Now we will discuss all of these one by one in detail. What is a macule? If you rub your fingers on a skin, you will feel that it is a flat, non-palpable, circumscribed, differs in color from surrounding skin, less than one centimeter in diameter, often hypo or hyperpigmented, but may also be present with some other colors, for example, pink, red, violet. And the examples are solar lentigens, freckles, lentigo, petechiae, flat component of viral exanthems. And here you can see the example of solar lentigens. It does not cause a change in a skin texture or thickness. Macules are noticed visually. Patch. What is a patch? It is a flat, non-palpable, circumscribed, differs in color from surrounding skin, greater than one centimeter in diameter, often hypo or hyperpigmented, but other colors can be present, for example, blue or violet. And the examples are vitiligo, melasma, dermal melanocytosis, Mongolian spot, cafe au lait macule. And here you can see the example of a patch of vitiligo. Now we will discuss papule. What is a papule? It is an elevated, palpable, circumscribed, less than one centimeter in diameter, elevation due to increased thickness of epidermis or cells or deposits within the dermis. May have secondary changes, for example, scales or crust. And the examples are seborrheic keratosis, cherry hemangioma, compound or intradermal melanocytic nevus, molluscum contagiosum, elevated component of viral exanthems, small vessel vasculitis. And here you can see the example of seborrheic keratosis. Plaque. It is an elevated, palpable, circumscribed, greater than one centimeter in diameter. Elevation is due to increased thickness of epidermis or cells or deposits within the dermis may have secondary changes, for example, scales or crust. Occasionally, a plaque is palpable, but not elevated, as in morphia. Plaque can be epidermal or dermal. The examples of epidermal plaque are psoriasis, lichen simplex chronicus, namella dermatitis. And the examples of dermal plaques are granuloma annulari, sarcoidosis, hypertrophic scar, morphia, lichen sclerosis. And here you can see the pictures of psoriasis and sarcoidosis. Nodule. It is a palpable, circumscribed, larger volume than papule, usually greater than one centimeter in diameter involves the dermis or the subcutis. It involves the greatest portion beneath the skin surface or exophytic. And the examples are epidermoid cysts, lipomas, metastasis, neurofibromas, 
erythematosum. And here you can see the example of a mole and epidermoid cyst. V. Transient elevation of skin due to dermal edema, often pale centrally with an erythematous rim. And the examples are urticaria, an intradermal skin test. Vesicle. It is an elevated, circumscribed, less than one centimeter in diameter, filled with fluid, clear, serous, or hemorrhagic. May become pustular, umbilicated, or an erosion. And the examples are herpes zoster, dermatitis herpetiformis, dyshydrotic eczema. Pustule. Pustule is an elevated, circumscribed, usually less than one centimeter in diameter, from its onset, it is filled with purulent fluid. And there are two types of pustules, follicularly centered and non-follicularly centered. The examples of follicularly centered pustules are folliculitis and acne vulgaris. And non-follicularly centered pustules are pustular psoriasis, acute generalized exanthematous pustulosis, subcorneal pustular dermatosis. Bulla. It is an elevated, circumscribed, greater than one centimeter in diameter, filled with fluid, clear serous or hemorrhagic, may become an erosion. And the examples are friction blister, bullous pemphigoid, linear IgA bullous dermatosis, bullous fixed drug eruption. And here you can see the example of a bulla. Now we will discuss secondary lesions and their morphological terms. Crust, scale, fissure, ulcer, infarct, atrophy, erosion, excoriation, and lichenification. What is a crust? It is a dried exudate on a skin of serum, blood, or pus on the surface of the skin. May include bacteria, usually staphylococcus. And the examples are eczema or dermatitis, and uh, impetigo, later phase of herpes simplex, varicella zoster, erythema multiforme. And here you can see the honey-colored uh, honey crust uh, on the impetigo, on the surface of the skin. Scale. Scales are due to hyperkeratosis, accumulation of stratum corneum due to increased proliferation or delayed desquamation. And you can differentiate different kinds of diseases by just looking at the scales and their shapes. For example, psoriasis has silvery scales, Tinea leading scales, erythema annularis centrifugum trailing scales, pityriasis versicolor powdery scales, actinic keratosis gritty scales, pityriasis rosea peripheral colorative scales, and central scale. And here you can see the examples of silvery scales of psoriasis. Fissures. Fissure is a linear cleft in skin, often painful, results from marked drying, skin thickening, and loss of elasticity. And the examples are angular shellitis, hand dermatitis, sebocerasis, and especially you can see the fissures in the interglute, uh, interglutal fold, irritant shellitis. And here you can see the example of fissures in hand dermatitis. Ulcer. What is an ulcer? It is a full thickness loss of epidermis, may have loss of dermis or even subcutis. The size, shape, and depth should be described as well as the characteristics of a border, base, and surrounding tissue. And the examples are stasis ulcer, pyoderma gangrenosum, ecthyma, neuropathic ulcers. And here you can see the example of venous ulcer. 
in fact it is the ischemia of tissue color can vary from gray white to purple to black can be due to vascular compromise for example atherosclerosis calciphylaxis thrombosis vasculitis emboli infectious or non infectious or vasospasm and here you can see the impact of antiphospholipid syndrome atrophy atrophy can be epidermal or dermal it is a loss of some portion of skin epidermal atrophy is thinning of epidermis leading to wrinkling and a shiny appearance dermal atrophy is a loss of dermal collagen or elastin leading to depression and the examples are lichen sclerosis poikiloderma striae anetoderma focal dermal hypoplasia and here you can see the example of steroid induced atrophy erosion erosion is a partial loss of epidermis and the examples are impetigo friction trauma pamphigus vulgaris and fallacious and here you can see the example of staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome excoriation it is an exogenous injury to all or part of the epidermis may be linear or punctate a secondary feature of pruritic conditions including arthropod bites and atopic dermatitis and the examples are neurotic excoriations and acne excori lichenification lichenification is an accentuation of natural skin lines reflecting thickening that is ekanthosis of the epidermis often due to rubbing and the examples are lichen simplex chronicus isolated or superimposed on a pruritic condition for example atopic dermatitis and here you can see the example of lichen simplex chronicus and this is all for today thank you everyone